For the first sunrise of the trip to Snowdonia, what better thing can you do than to try and photograph Snowdon? So I've come here to Capelcurig today. It's a place I've been many times, I've been hiking around here, but never brought the camera. Um, I have a bit of history with Snowdon. I've climbed it quite a few times. I've uh, walked around it. I've even tried to photograph it, but I have to say I don't have one, what I'd call fantastic image of that mountain, despite the fact it's pretty, uh, the most popular, most famous mountain in this area. So we're here to give it yet another go. Hopefully we get something decent. Hopefully you can see behind me the fantastic view uh, down the valley past Cattle Curry towards the Snowdon Horseshoe. What you'll also probably notice is that Snowdon itself right now is covered in cloud. All that rain we had last night on our first trip on the Clean Peninsula has cleared away, but some of the cloud still uh, is still around. Hopefully that starts to break up before the sun comes up and we'll get something truly spectacular. After waiting around a bit to see if Snowden would appear through the clouds, what fleeting light there was disappeared. So I decided it was time to move on, grab some breakfast and decide what to do with the rest of the day. refueled and decided what we're doing this afternoon. So um, the original plan was to head down the Watkins path and up onto the ridge of Ecluith and get some pictures from the ridge but that's still covered in cloud at the minute and it doesn't look very nice up there so I think we are still going to do the Watkins path but there's some beautiful waterfalls down here so we're going to head down through this woodland um, up to Coombe Clan and see what we can get. There's some great landscape over there and uh, see what we can get with this kind of more overcast light and make the best of the conditions that we have. So I've come up past the waterfalls, through Coombe Clan and up into the quarries. Before I kind of base myself around the waterfalls, I just wanted to have a bit of an explore, see what was up here, um, just for future reference. And I have to say, as hopefully you can see behind me, it is spectacular. This is one of those places that I really love. When you're down by the road, by Clinquinant Lake, you would not know this existed. You would not know you could actually walk up here and get through this pass. It takes a bit of effort, but walking up here, you know, it reveals a whole new side to the landscape and it's really, really well worth it. However, for today, the weather looks pretty bad over towards the mountains. So we're gonna head back down a little bit, go back to the waterfalls. I'm gonna 
set up the camera, see what we can get. From what I could see, there's loads of compositional opportunity there. So uh, yeah, hopefully we'll get something good. So I've come back down from the quarry now and I'm making the most of all the streams and the pools down here. On the way up I came across this composition that I thought looked quite nice. Uh, so we've got a tree dead ahead of me and then there's traditional slate fencing everywhere which creates beautiful straight lines. Um, so what I'm trying to do is frame up so that we basically have, I'll turn the camera on, that would help. Um, so we have a line of the stream in the foreground, the stone wall, then the slate fence and then the tree and as you can see as the light comes across the tree here it's illuminating the tree but dropping the background really nice and dark and this is all about waiting for the light to create that separation between the tree and the mountain behind it we want the tree to really stand out so ideally i want the shadow to land on that mountainside with the tree nicely illuminated and that does seem to be a possibility with the way the clouds are shifting around here today um, so i'm just going to stick here wait around a bit uh, and uh, see if we can make this into a really nice simple composition So I've made my way down from the uh, tree earlier on to one of the main waterfalls on this stretch of river. Um, I'm trying to experiment here, trying to do a few different things. The light isn't the best, so it's a good, good opportunity to try a few different things, different compositions, different techniques that I can put into practice um, at a later date when the light's more favourable. So what am I trying here? So firstly, I don't know if you can see behind me, but there's this beautiful kind of elegant tree with some nice, really fine detailed leaves on it. Um, I really want to accentuate that and go quite close in on that and the waterfall behind it. Um, the trouble is that it's quite a busy scene, so I need to separate that out uh, from the, the kind of clutter around it. So I'm actually doing something I don't normally do, and that is using a very wide aperture at f2.8 on my 24 to 70 millimeter lens. I'm hoping that will give me a bit more black background there and a bit more separation for the image. Then what I've also got on here is a few filters. So I've got my polarizing filter, my lead polarizing filter at the front. And that is to reduce some of the glare on the, the water um, as it's kind of reflecting a little bit too much light. Then behind that, I've got my six stop lead little stopper. And that's just to uh, bring the shutter, stab, sorry, shutter speed down a bit. Um, the reason for that is um, I want to just kind of get a little bit of blur into the water. I don't want it all milky, all that kind of stuff. I still want a bit of texture in there. So I don't want it to go too slow, but just, just to give a bit of motion and a bit of an impression in there. Um, so, you know, I'm not sure how this image is going to turn out. It's worth a shot. Um, I'm going to take it now. I might wait around a bit and see if we get a little bit better light here um, as the kind of clouds break a bit. Um, and we'll see what that looks like um, a bit later on. So I've continued to follow the stream down the valley, looking for compositions as I go. Um, as I drop down to this bit, the sun illuminated this tree in front of me absolutely beautifully. Um, so I set up here and tried to find a composition. Um, for some reason, I think this image really suits a uh, one-to-one -one square crop. It just seems to add a sense of balance. It's really nice to the image, combined with all the lovely greens and brown hues in the landscape around it. So it could make a really nice composition. The main problem I'm having at the minute is that light hasn't come back. Um, so I'm waiting around here for a few minutes, seeing if it comes back. Um, but unfortunately, I've not got much time left. I need to get back to the car pretty soon. So I might have to make the dash for it and save this one for another day. Back down to the car. It's 
great time up at Capel Curig first thing this morning um, and then just a nice time exploring compositions and different opportunities and just scouting out the whole location around the Watkins path this afternoon. We may even have one or two really uh, decent images there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Uh, if you did, please subscribe. If you want to see more of my work, check out my website, www.michaelsalvyphotography.com. And if you liked this video, then there's more Snowdonia videos before this and still to come. See you next time.